Hey guys, and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be modeling the doors and windows for the building. So let's begin. So this is where we left last time. And let's just continue. And here in Google Earth, we can see the doors and the windows that we have to model. So let's go back to Cinema 4D. And let's make a new cube. And let's go to the front view. And let's just move this cube. And let's enable the X ray option so we can see through this cube. And we're just going to make this cube the size of this hole here that we have. And we can just uh, modify this, dragging the point. And let's just uh, position it so it's on the right spot. And now that looks that is the right size and we can come here and just uh, round these numbers so let's make them uh, complete numbers just uh, 66 168 and here let's uh, make it half so we have two of these so we're going to use 33 and let's just move this to the left a little bit and change the name to door L and of course the L stands for left and the other one will be door R which stands for right now let's go here to the perspective view and as we can see we have to change the the value or size on the C axis so let's change it to about 5. And that looks much better. Before it was like very, very large. We can even make it a little bit thinner. And now we can see better if we turn off the X-ray option. And here, selecting the cube, we're going to go to the object properties and on the object tab, we can change the segments. So we're just going to use 2 for X, 3 for Y, and 2 for C. And let's uncheck the X ray for this also. And it's always a good idea to see your object from different angles. We can see that we have to take these objects out a little bit. So let's just move them. Okay, that is better now and let's uh, check this object again and it looks better if we render this in we can see now the doors and we are going to leave these doors just like they are now because all of the detail will come from the textures 
So now let's just uh, select the two windows and let's uh, place them inside of a null object. Now we can make these objects editable, both of them, their left and their right, and go to the front view. And we're just going to change the axis. And this step is very important because when we rotate this object, it's going to be rotating according to where this axis is. So we have to place the axis on the left for the left door. And for the right door, we have to place it uh, on the right. So whenever we rotate it, it's going to uh, open the door or close it. Let's go to the rotate tool and let's just rotate it. And if we didn't change the axis, these doors or these windows would just uh, rotate from the middle. So that looks good. So let's uh, control Z that. Just undo the rotation because we are going to uh, duplicate these uh, windows here. So let's just copy and paste and just move them to the next window. And let's try to have this organized all the time. So whenever you copy and paste, make sure that you are renaming your elements. So let's rename this group to doors C, since this is the third window. And of course, for the fourth window, we're going to use doors G. So now let's go to the perspective view. And here we can see these new doors. And they are OK. So let's just rename this group to doors D. And now that we are set, we can just uh, go ahead and start modifying these doors. Just open these doors a little bit so they don't look like they are just copies, even though they are copies from the first set but just by opening them at different angles uh, that would give the illusion that these are not exactly the same doors. So let's just change these uh, values for the rotation. These little details are the ones that are going to bring a little bit of realism to your scenes. So don't forget about these uh, small details. And you can rotate these doors or these windows right from the coordinates window, or you can do it manually with the rotate tool. So let's make some renders and see how this is looking. And it is going very well. So let's just continue modifying these doors a little bit so they don't look the same. And let's just render this. And it looks very good. So now let's uh, change the perspective and make another render. Nice. So now let's go to the top view. And let's now uh, select 
all of these groups and make a new group. And we're just going to call these doors second floor. And as I said before, it is always good to have everything organized. So let's uh, change this for third floor since it wasn't the second, it, it is the third floor. Very good. So now let's uh, just continue renaming these groups. You may have already noticed that I render over and over again. And this is a good habit for you because that way you are going to really know what it is that you are doing. So don't be afraid and just uh, render. So now let's continue and we are just going to modify these lights and we are just looking for some different shadows so we can see more details and just by moving the lights that's going to give us uh, some more details. So uh, as I said before just uh, render and render that way you will know exactly what uh, you're doing okay so let's continue here and let's select this third floor and let's make a copy of this door and now let's um, reset the values for the rotation for both doors because we're going to use this for the second floor so let's uh, just uh, move them down and we can see that they are bigger than the holes. So let's come to the front view and we can now select this group and we can now scale down this doors and just uh, reposition them to where they have to be. So let's get a little bit closer and just uh, go to the perspective view and now you can see that they are working well. Now let's make a quick render. Nice. And I think we can now take this door and just uh, move it on the C axis. Um, that should look better. And it looks much better now. So now let's uh, just uh, make some copies for the rest of the windows. And we can take the back these doors for the third floor. Maybe even a little bit more. That is okay. Now let's come back to the second floor and let's go to the front view. And let's just um, make some copies for the rest of the windows. Now we can rename it and just place it where it has to be. Make another copy, rename it and place it on the third window. And do the same for the last window for the second floor. And just rename it to doors D.
Now we can come back here to the perspective view and render this to see how this is working out. And it looks very well. Now let's uh, just uh, change the angle for these doors so they look open and they don't look the same. And we can continue uh, modifying the angle. And that looks a little bit better. So now we can uh, go to the port window and just uh, change the angle as well. And we can do the same for the rest of this. And this is pretty much what we will do here. Just uh, open this doors and this window so they look a little bit different from the others and you can see that we can recycle these objects that we are making so you can have a special file for this and you can have different kinds of doors and different kinds of windows that you model from different projects and you can later on recycle them and use them in other projects so it is important that you do your best the first time so when you use them again you have something that is good and you don't have to modify it too much to have something that is going to work for that other project so that's something that you can just use and just have your special file and start some different objects that you can use in the future. Now let's close down these, these groups and we can select them all and make a new null object from them and just rename these to doors second floor. And now we're going to work on the windows for the fourth floor. And these windows for the last floor are going to be a little bit different. So we're just going to model them from the beginning. We're not going to, to recycle any of the doors from the other floors. So let's go to the front view and let's go ahead and make a new cube and let's place this cube on the fourth floor and always uh, Remember that we can check on the X-ray option so we can see it through. And here we have to make this cube the same size as the hole for this window. So let's get a little bit closer so we can see even better. And Now we can just um, make these numbers full numbers, like 66. Okay, let's select that option. And now let's change it. So it doesn't change when we change the other values. And now let's come back to the perspective view. 
and get a little bit closer to see how this window is working with the rest of the building. Now let's come back to the front view. And this window is going to be different because this one is going to have a frame here. So you can use this for other projects. I just wanted to show you this because for the other windows and doors, all of the detail will come from the textures, from the bump map and the color map. But for this one, I want to make it a little bit different. So let's make this an editable object. And let's select these polygons. And we can hide this um, building so we can see just uh, this cube that we are working on. And now let's go to the live selection tool and check on the only select visible element. And let's select those polygons there. And we're going to use the extrude inner tool to make an extrusion like that. And we can come to the front view to see this better. And we have to modify a little bit that one so these sides uh, for this frame are going to be basically the same size uh, okay so now um, we can continue Let's come to the perspective view. And so we can just uh, delete this polygon and we're going to make an extrusion. And delete that polygon. And we're going to merge these two points. So first we have to select them. Make sure that you are uh, that you have unchecked the only select visible element. And let's use the weld tool to uh, merge these two polygons together. And let's do the same here. And we're going to do the same on the other corners of this frame so now we have this frame and this is going to be a wooden frame and now we can place a new cube that we're going to be texturing as a, a piece of glass Now let's select these edges and selecting the edge cut tool, we're going to make three subdivisions so these polygons are not too big. And we are going to uh, select these other edges and do the same. So now we have the frame and we just have to work on, on the glass. And let's move this new cube that we created, place it uh, right next to, to the frame. And just uh, make it the same size as, as the frame. 
And of course, if we want to save time, we can always, uh, when we make these kinds of doors or windows, we can uh, just uh, take the first cube and when we have it the size that we need, we just can make a new copy and that copy we are going to leave it on the side and that is going to be our glass and we can just uh, continue and go ahead and just uh, work on the frame so when the frame is done we would have both the glass and the frame so that is something that i didn't do but you can do it if you don't want to spend uh, this extra time so always uh, try to save as much time as you can so let's just continue and now we have the glass for this window and we can change the value for the C and now here on the perspective view we can make a render and we can see that now we have some detail uh, from the modeling and for these windows is it is not going to be all the detail from the from the textures it's going to be some detail also from the modeling so now let's uh, make these two objects editable and let's just rename them so let's just name this frame and this other one glass window glass and window window frame and select them and make a new null object you know the command option G or alt G for windows and now let's uh, just place an L for left and an R for right and come to the front view and just uh, move this to the side make visible again the, the building okay and now we can change the axis for both of these so they can open when we rotate these objects they will open and we are set so let's select these two groups and make a new group and we're going to rename it to window a and just come to the perspective view and see how this is working out and you can see the frame and you can see the glass and just uh, duplicate this group and move it to the second window and just rename it to window b and place it uh, on the pole and make the same thing for the third window just copy paste rename it and just position it and of course we have to do the same for the last window copy paste place it and rename the group and we can now select these four groups and make a new group 
and we're going to rename it to Windows for Floor. And now we can just come to the perspective view. And here we can uh, just uh, change the angle for these windows, just up and them a little bit. So again, they don't look the same. And when we are finished modifying this window, we can just make another render and see how everything is working out. And this is it for this part of the tutorial, but we still have many, many things to learn. So I hope you stay with us and I will see you on the next lessons. Thanks for watching.